Hey guys, thought we'd try something new today. Thought we'd try to cook some dinner. I got this good food box which has all the ingredients and instructions how to make veal cheeseburgers with homemade ketchup and heirloom tomato salad because you know how much I love tomatoes. So we've got this recipe card and it tells you about the meal that you're about to make, all the ingredients and then what you will need. All that I need on my own that wasn't included is a medium pot, a large pan, olive oil, and salt and pepper. The things I need are pretty common things that people would normally have around their house. And the ingredients they gave us were, we have baby arugula, one red onion, apple cider vinegar, some tomato sauce, a little piece of garlic, Worcestershire sauce, two tomatoes, another little piece of garlic, some provolone cheese, and some tomato ketchup spice blend. Now what's really handy about this is things like garlic I normally do have around the house. But Worcestershire, I think to use that in a Caesar if you were going to be all fancy and not buy the pre-made stuff, but I wouldn't have that. Or apple cider vinegar is something that I regularly wouldn't use, so getting the exact right amount is going to be really helpful. Oh, and I set them aside, but I also got two buns. Literally, it came with almost everything. So on the back of the card, it gives you instructions for what to do. First, it says to cut the heirloom tomatoes into wedges, mince the garlic, peel in half the onion, dicing one half small and slicing the other, and then combining sliced onion with three quarter of the vinegar. A yellowish tomato and a red one. I don't know the difference between heirloom tomatoes and regular tomatoes, except heirloom ones always look fancier. Oh, gross. The sticker is sticking to it. Okay, I'm gonna run this underwater. Not get all the sticky stuff off, so I'm just gonna cut around that part because wedges. These wedges are gonna be smaller. Yeah, I'm not really a tomato person. Like, I like cooked tomatoes, but I'm not a big fan of cold raw tomatoes, so if I don't like this salad, I'll just have to warm it up into salsa. And get a bowl! This one is a lot firmer. So mine will look the exact same as the pitcher, but we got it there. And then with the onion, so one half is thinly sliced and the other is diced. Do the diced one first. I'm gonna get a bigger knife. <laughs> Do you think that's small enough? It's gonna be. I'm putting the diced onion in a bowl right now just to get it out of the way and off the chopping board. And then I have to thinly slice this one. It's really hard to slice something thin when it's so tiny. Don't do this at home, kids. This isn't how you slice things. <laughs> this is how you probably cut yourself. I still have to do the garlic, but it says to combine the sliced onion with three quarters of the vinegar. What do I use the other quarter for? Okay, well I'm just gonna guess then. So maybe like down to there? Yeah, close enough. So the vinegar is in here, kind of just chilling with it. It's not enough to actually like bathe in it, but I guess it'll get on it. Doesn't smell that good. And then the garlic still we have to do. That's half and half and all over my fingers. Next it says, in a medium pot, heat a drizzle of olive oil on to medium high. Add the onion, stir it for two, three minutes. Okay, let's do that first. It says olive oil and I have canola oil, but I don't know the difference between the cooking oils there's like canola oil, sunflower oil, 
maybe corn oil. I just buy whatever is on sale that week, to be honest. Believe it or not, most of the work for this recipe is in the homemade tomato ketchup and the tomato salad, which I'm really not that big of a fan of tomatoes at all. I totally not gonna lie, I missed that because it's the secondary line, like right there. I was excited for the veal cheeseburgers though. Just waiting as the pot heats. As the pot heats. Not as the water boils, but as the pot heats. Well, eventually we are going to need the tomato sauce, so I am going to open up this little can. One of the most exciting parts of this burger that will come up is uh, they gave us lean gram veal, and these aren't pre-made burgers. We're going to probably, I assume, we're going to mix the garlic and uh, some spices in here and make our own patties. I grew up doing that. Well, I grew up with my parents doing that, so it's not too new for me, but it'll be fun to do it on our own. I think the pan is kind of warm, either that or I just got them bored of waiting. So we're gonna throw the onion in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's good. Mm. So we let this simmer for two to three minutes, then we're gonna add the half of our garlic that's chopped. So it's nice and simmering. So then we're going to add some garlic. One to two minutes. Oh my god, so many minutes. I think this really isn't a bad idea. It would be especially good for someone who doesn't cook often or doesn't know what things you need to buy when you cook. Like a lot of people would not think of getting the salad on the side or making your own homemade ketchup. So having all the ingredients exactly what you need in the right proportions and having the easy instructions. Anyone could cook a meal, really, and make it look fancy. It's not just like craft dinner or grilled cheese or something that a college kid would eat. After this, we, until fragrant. I thought it smelled kind of like food this whole time, so. Add the tomato sauce, Worcestershire, and remaining vinegar. These are such cute little bottles. They remind me of our travel shampoo bottles. Oh, and the spice blend. This is looking like ketchup. Spices are. Do you want to smell? Oh yeah, you're a camera, you can't. What is it? It's dry. Put this bad boy in. Cook at gentle simmer for 15 to 20 minutes or until thickened. Season with salt and pepper to taste. I know I like salt and pepper, so I'm just gonna put some in now. Now I'm moving this to the back burner. Our next step is starting the salad. While the ketchup cooks, combine the tomatoes as much as the pickled red onion. We're pickling it. I'm sorry. Some people might like the salad, but I'm gonna hate it. I, I don't like pickled things. I don't like tomatoes. God. I didn't say it had pickled onions in it. I'm sorry, I'm just picky. And drizzle olive oil and season with salt and vinegar. Okay, let's try this. Where's our bowl? Drizzle with olive oil. Doesn't say how much. So that's what the salad looks like so far. Next, it says prepare the burgers in a medium bowl. Combine the veal with remaining garlic and salt and pepper. So I have the veal here. Gonna cut it open. Oh jeez. Try not to get bloody meat everywhere. Okay, veal. The garlic. And salt and pepper. Because I do have spices of my own, I'm going to add this in. It is uh, called perky pepper. It's a grinder thing that I got. I'm pretty sure it's like the Sobeys house brand. But it's a bunch of stuff. But it's good. Using your hands, form it into equal sized patties. Just mixing it. So I'm going to put my patties on here.
they're still pretty big chunks of garlic, but uh, that'll that'll be interesting. Have your barbecue on high. By barbecue, I hope you mean oven. Making sure to oil it first, or in a large pan. Heat a drizzle of olive oil. Place burgers on it. Okay, we can do that. So, I just filmed some stuff, and it wasn't actually filming. But I got the burgers, carefully took them off, and put them on here. My sauce is still simmering. My ketchup, not sauce. These are the buns. Do they come pretty spiced? Yes. Mm. They're nice big buns too. Like when you're at a restaurant or like a pub and they give you a real burger. Is there anything else I need to do? Because I still have the arugula. Oh, so you put some of the arugula on the burger and then you put the rest in the salad. That tomato salad. So that's gonna be like some for the burger. Well, it said combine with it, so I'm just gonna put it in the bag. Who wants to dirty another bowl? I guess I could put it all in. So, uh, this bag has a bunch of little holes to keep it fresh. So my idea wasn't the best idea, actually. So I'm just gonna put it in there. These bad boys have been cooking for four minutes. This is a salad when I put all the arugula in it. Kind of looks a bit better. Not as tomatoey. And the burgers are coming along. After we flipped them, this one kind of fell apart a bit. And you can't even hear me because it's so flipping loud. I'm just hitting the face. It's hot. It's like spitting everywhere. It's like worse than cooking bacon. Do you need a lid? The recipe never said you need a lid, but... If you have a lid, then your recipe card wouldn't be covered in grease. The burgers are blackening a bit on the bottom. Gonna try to put the cheese on. It was not this loud before. I feel like I'm in a war zone. Now that everything's coming together and shit is hitting the fan, you get your buns. I take these off before they burn to crap. I don't even know if this arugula is gonna taste good, but it makes it look fancy as ever. And the house made ketchup. So I put a little bit of mustard on mine because I like mustard way more than ketchup. Then we have the salad with the arugula and the tomatoes and pickled onions. It was a lot of work. Most of the work was probably in the homemade ketchup you know, because why would you just want to use, like, store-bought ketchup that you have a giant container of? Hopefully it's good, and I'm not 100% sure on the salad. We'll have to taste it and see, but just read the subtitles when you're getting the recipes. Big burger. I didn't even get any meat in my first bite. But the rest of it is good. I honestly don't think it tastes too much from like a regular hamburger, but I do like veal parmesan and I get a bit of that flavor. And then there's the salad. This is like fear factor. <laughs> it's not terrible. If you went to a, a barbecue picnic or like someone's house for a dinner, they could have this and it would be good. It's just not as delicious as like a salad we would normally have with it. Definitely packed full of flavor though everything is. And it was easy to make with the instructions. If you like this video you can click down there to hit the subscribe button. And you can get up. <laughs> I feel on the spot my glasses are like full of grease spots speckles. Um yeah. Catch you later.